Yoko, Yoko Sunbeam in Japanese, known before launch as Solar A, was a solar observatory spacecraft of the Institute of Space and Astronautical Science Japan, in collaboration with space agencies in the United States and the United Kingdom. It was launched into Earth orbit on August 30, 1991 by the M3S5 rocket from Kagoshima Space Center. It took its first soft X-ray image on September 13, 1991 21 hours 53 minutes and 40 seconds, and movie representations of the X-ray corona over 1991-2001 are available at the Yoko Legacy site. Topic. Description The satellite was three-axis stabilized and in a near-circular orbit. It carried four instruments, a soft X-ray telescope SXT, a hard X-ray telescope HXT, a Bragg crystal spectrometer BCS, and a wide-band spectrometer WBS. About 50 MB were generated each day and stored on board by a 10.5 MB bubble memory recorder. Because SXT utilized a charge-coupled device CCD as its readout device, perhaps being the first X-ray astronomical telescope to do so, it's data cube of images was both extensive and convenient, and it revealed much interesting detail about the behavior of the solar corona. Previous solar soft X-ray observations, such as those of Skylab, had been restricted to film as a readout device. Yoko therefore returned many novel scientific results, especially regarding solar flares and other forms of magnetic activity. The mission ended after more than 10 years of successful observation when it went into its safe hold mode during an annular eclipse on December 14, 2001, 20 hours 58 minutes and 33 seconds, and the spacecraft lost lock on the Sun. Operational mistakes and other flaws combined in such a way that its solar panels could no longer charge the batteries, which drained irreversibly. Several other solar eclipses had successfully been observed. On September 12, 2005, the spacecraft burned up during re entry over South Asia. The time of re-entry, as provided by the U.S. Space Surveillance Network, was 6.16 p.m. Japan Standard Time JST. Topic. Instruments Yoko carried four instruments The Soft X-ray Telescope SXT was an X-ray telescope with glancing incidence X-ray mirror and a CCD sensor. There was also a co-aligned optical telescope using the same CCD, but after the failure of the entrance filter in November 1992, it became unusable. The CCD was 1024 times 1024 pixels with pixel angular size of 2.45 times 2.45, a point spread function, core width FWHM of about 1.5 pixels, i.e. 3.7, a field of view of 42 times 42, which was a little larger than the whole solar disk. Typical time resolution was 2s in flare mode and 8s in quiet no flare mode, the maximum time resolution in 0.5s. For spectral discrimination, STX employed wide-band filters installed on a filter wheel. There were five usable filter positions, 1265 a thick AL filter, 2.5 a minus 36 a pass band, AL per megagram, Minnesota filter, 2.4 a minus 32 a, 2.52 micrometers MG filter, 2.4 a minus 23 a, 11.6 micrometers AL filter, 2.4 a minus 13 a, 119 micrometers B filter, 2.3 a minus 10 a. Before the entrance filter failure in November 1992, three more filter positions were available: no analysis filter, 2.5 a minus 46 a, wide band optical filter, 4,600 a minus 4,800 a, narrow band optical filter, 4,290 a minus 4,320 a. The Hard X-ray Telescope HXT, was a Fourier synthesis X-ray imager with 64 bigrid collimators sparsely sampling the U, v plane and feeding individual scintillation counter detectors. HXT was sensitive to photons with energies from 14 keV to 93 keV. This range was divided into four energy bands called L, M1, M2, H. The angular resolution was about 5 inches, image synthesis field of view is 2 times 2, maximum time resolution was 0.5 s. Bragg Crystal Spectrometer BCS was two bent crystal spectrometers sensitive in four spectral lines, the line of ion Fe 26 1.76 a minus 1. 
81 a ion fe 25 1.83 a 1.90 a ion ca 19 3.16 a 3.19 and ion s 15 5.02 a 5.11 Spectral resolution varied in the range of lambda dl equals 3000 8000 typical time resolution in flare mode was 8s maximum as 0.125s bcs integrates radiation over the whole solar disk wide band spectrometer wbs had spectroscopic capabilities in a wide energy band from 3 keV to 100 mev WBS was a set of four subinstruments, EACH of them outputs pulse count PC corresponding to intensity integrated over a band, and pulse height pH profile which corresponded to spectrum. Time resolution for PC 0.125s4s for different subinstruments and modes was 8 to 16 times better than for pH 1s32s. WBS integrated radiation over the whole sun and did not resolve source position. Soft X-ray spectrometer SXS consisted of two proportional gas counters with nominal energy band 5 keV 40 keV, which was divided into two PC channels and 128 pH channels. It was found after the launch that pH to energy relationship was distorted. No energy calibration for WBS pH data was available in 1999. Hard X-ray spectrometer HXS was a NI TL scintillator. The energy band after June 1992 was 24 keV 830 keV. It was divided into two PC channels and 32 pH channels. Gamma ray spectrometer GRS consisted of two identical bismuth germinate oxide scintillators. It covered energy range 0.3 MeV 100 MeV, which was divided into six PC channels and 128 plus 16 pH channels. Radiation Belt Monitor RBM, unlike the other three was not aimed at solar flare observations and served to sound the alarm for radiation belt passage. References External links JAXA – ISAS Overview of Mission SXT Project Page SXT observation images Encyclopædia Britannica, Yoko HXT project page NASA, NSSDC information on Yoko U.S. European Japanese Workshop on Space Cooperation, Summary Report, 1999 Yoko Science Nuggets <laughs>